Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your iPad home screen as well as the new iPad OS 18 customization features. I'll show you how to create custom shortcut icons, some of my favorite widgets and apps, as well as how I make my aura gradient wallpapers. In iPadOS 18, when you long press on the screen and tap on the edit button, there's a new customize feature. You can apply light or dark mode to your icons and widgets, as well as colored tints, which you can customize using the color sliders. You can also enlarge the size of your app icons, but this also removes the icon names. With iPadOS 18, you can resize widgets by dragging the corners when you're in edit mode, if the widget comes in multiple sizes. You can also long press on the widget and tap on these icons to switch between sizes. With this new update, you also have more freedom to place your icons and widgets anywhere you want on the screen. There's a new control center customization in iPadOS 18. You can tap on these small icons to switch between the different tabs, and there's the option to add and remove controls. Third-party apps also offer different shortcuts and customizations, which you can use to quickly launch your favorite apps. You can also rearrange and resize controls by dragging the corners. Next, I'm going to show you how to create custom app icons for your home screen. For this, you will need the Shortcuts app, which you should already have on your iPad. Tap on the plus icon to create a new shortcut. Rename it to whatever you like, and I'm going to call mine GoodNotes because that's the app I want my shortcut to open. Then tap on Open App and choose your application from the drop-down menu. In the search bar, search for the Nothing action and drag it above the Open App action, and this stops the shortcut notification banner from showing up. Tap on this icon and add to home screen. I also like to customize my app icon and you can choose any photo from your photo album. Tap on add and the new icon will appear on your home screen. Now you can delete the original icon, but make sure to choose remove from home screen and not delete app. Unfortunately, you do have to go through these steps for every single icon. So it does take a little bit of time to set everything up. Here's a quick tutorial on how I create my Aura Gradient wallpapers. I'm using Procreate, which is a paid app, but you can also use Ibis Paint for a free option. Choose a background color and fill in your canvas. Then choose a different color and draw a heart and fill that in. Tap on the Adjustments icon and then Gaussian Blur, and then just slide your Apple Pencil across the page to around 30%. Save this as a PNG, and to set this as your wallpaper, just long press on the lock screen and swipe over to add a new wallpaper. Select the image in your photo album, and you can adjust how it looks in both landscape and portrait orientation. You can also customize the time display and add lock screen widgets like a calendar, reminders, app shortcuts, as well as third-party lock screen widgets. And that is how I create my Aura Gradient wallpapers. To add a widget, long press on the home screen and tap on Edit, then Add Widget. If an app has a widget, you'll find it in this list. Choose the size of the widget you want to add and tap on Add Widget. Next, I'm going to show you some of my favorite widget apps. iScreen app has a lot of cool widgets that you can set against a transparent background. There's a large variety of widgets you can get just by watching some adverts. There's a cute pixel clock widget, which comes in a couple of different designs. I also like the flip album widget where you can add your own photos and tap to shuffle through them on the home screen. To get a transparent background, tap on the transparent background option. Go to your home screen, long press and swipe left to go to a blank page and then take a screenshot. Upload the screenshot into the app, and you can go back into the transparent background settings to choose where exactly you want to put your widget. All your saved widgets will show up in the My Widgets tab, and you can add the widget to your home screen in the usual way and choose which one you want to display. Some of my other favorite widgets from iScreen include this game console, which you can actually interact with, and there's a functional calculator widget, which I made transparent. All the widgets I'm using here are available under the free version, but anytime you want to make changes to a saved widget, you do have to watch another advert. I also like this X panel widget, which displays information about your iPad. And another one is this mood tracker that lets you track your mood every day. 
I love that a lot of the widgets are customizable and I made this cute heart using the badge widget along with my own custom image. The sticker widget also has a large selection of designs such as these 3D widgets. Although you can access many widgets on the free plan, I recommend upgrading to premium because it's just so much more convenient to add new widgets and also edit existing ones. TapeKit lets you put animated widgets onto your home screen and here's a quick tutorial. Tap on the plus icon and choose your widget size. Go to Giphy and this is a huge library of animations and short clips. I recommend using the search bar and once you've found something you like, tap on it and save the widget. It will then show up under the list of widgets you can display on the home screen. I use Zen Flip Clock for their clock and calendar widgets. You can use this as a clock display or as a Pomodoro timer. There's different color schemes and my favorites are the light and dark styles, which are free. Widget Smith is great if you just want a simple photo widget. I browse Pinterest for images and quotes and to save it to your photo album, you can tap on the three dots and download image. In Widget Smith, you can select the widget size you want to create, tap on photo and choose the image from your photo album. Tap on save and that widget will be available in the list of widgets you can choose from. Widget Smith also has a variety of widgets for calendar, time and date. I like TikTok app for their productivity widgets. You can set up your own habits and check this off directly on the home screen. It also has focus timers, calendar view and various to-do list widgets. I like the affirmation widgets from this app called I Am. You can scroll through different categories and save your favorite affirmations. There's a lot of different themes, so you can customize the widget appearance and you can use the free themes or pay to unlock more designs. The affirmations refresh themselves after a while or you can change the quotes directly on the widget. Another app I use is MD Vinyl, but the widgets are only accessible on the premium plan. It connects to Spotify or Apple Music and you can switch between songs by swiping through them. The widget comes in different sizes and you can control what you're listening to directly on the home screen. To set up a reminders widget, you can use the reminders app, which is native to the iPad. Tap on add list and give this a name and icon color and style. Write in your reminders and then you can add the widget to your home screen. Long press on the widget and tap on edit widget to choose the list you want displayed. And now you can check off reminders directly on the home screen. Locket app lets you stay up to date with friends and family by sharing photos directly to their home screen. You can take a photo and add a text message and send this to the other person's home screen and receive their update on yours. It doesn't automatically refresh for me, but you can just tap into the widget to receive updates. You can also react to photos and send a message back. Widgetable is another fun widget to use with your best friend or partner. You can track each other's moves throughout the day and there's also widgets you can use by yourself. There's a cute widget that lets you know you miss them and I also like the distance tracker widget which tells you how far apart you're away from each other. You can also co-parent a virtual pet if that sounds like fun to you. You can switch between iPad home screens using focus mode and I'm going to demonstrate that here. So I'm going to switch to planning focus and you can see the widgets and the icons have completely changed. To set this up, you want to have a couple of different lock screens and home screens to begin with. And once you have the two different lock screens and home screens, you can swipe from the top and then tap on focus and then tap on new focus. And then you can go to custom and then name your focus and you can choose a color and icon to go along with that and then tap on next and then tap on customize focus and here you can customize who is allowed to send you notifications and what apps are allowed to send you notifications for example if you're setting up a study focus maybe you only want to see note taking and productivity apps and you don't want to see any games or netflix or anything that could distract you and then you can tap on customize screens. So choose a lock screen and then you can browse through the different lock screens that you've set up, tap on done and then tap on the home screen and you can choose a home screen as well. And now you can switch to your new focus by swiping from the top, tap on focus and then choose the one you want. And this will change the wallpaper as well as the widgets. That's all for this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more iPad tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching.